Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's that time of year kids. Wedding season is upon us. I am now at the age where everybody I know is finding a mate and getting married and it is a beautiful and wonderful and very expensive experience for all. This year I had two family weddings in a week of each other and for the sake of being the most economical adult that I can be, I didn't want to buy two separate dresses. I knew I didn't have an appropriate dress for the occasion, so I needed a dress, but I didn't want to go out and spend two. But also, for the sake of my ego and Instagram, I didn't want the looks to be very similar. So in order for me to be both economically and conceptually smart, I wanted to make two different looks with the same dress. The dress that I decided to go with is this floral length off the shoulder maxi dress. What I love most about this dress is that it was the perfect combination of trendy and comfortable, which is perfect for the wedding activities of taking pictures, eating, drinking, and dancing. So enough with the chit chat. Let's see one dress two ways. All right, so we're gonna start this tutorial off by putting on some moisturizer. I believe this is just the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, if you guys are interested in knowing the specifics. Then I moved on to my brows. Um, that's the point where I realized that my brow definer had pretty much run out, but we made it work. And then moving on to the eyes, I'm using just my concealer to prime. I haven't used real eye primer in years, I think. <laughs> I just find this to be easier. We're mostly gonna use the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So the first thing I did was took the Tempura shade, which is like the lightest shade in the palette, put that all over my lid. And then I took Raw Sienna and focused it right in the crease and did that like all over as a transition color. Next, I'm going in with Buon Fresco, or however the anybody says that, and I'm going back into the crease and just sort of, you know, livening it up. And I'm taking a Real Techniques, like, blending brush and just blending that all out. Now I'm going in with Antique Bronze and really focusing that on the outer corners of my eye, just to sort of deepen the look a bit. And then I'm gonna go in with Vermeer and that's gonna be kind of what's all over my lid. At this point I had really no idea what I was going for other than the fact that I wanted it to be a little bit more romantic and purple. I said romantic in a very romantic kind of way. So yes, I'm just putting that all over my lid and kind of just blending it all out. I find the, br the brush that comes with the Modern Renaissance palette is legit amazing. So once the eyes are, you know, about 80% done, I went in with the Revlon Color Stay Foundation and a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in uh, Opal, I believe, and I'm using that as my foundation. I, This is a ride or die foundation, especially with the pump. I've used it for years. It's like the best color match for me, as well as just being an overall like amazing foundation. Then I put on some chapstick, you know, just to moisturize the lips. So yeah, I'm just using the Instant Age Rewind, putting that underneath my lids, and then I'm gonna go in with an actual like concealer, and that this is my Maybelline Fit Me. I freaking love this concealer. There's probably nothing better on the market as far as drugstore concealers go, at least where I'm concerned. setting powder. Um, normally I would probably use a better one, but I just needed to use this puppy up. So it did the job, you know, but I would recommend something like the Laura Mercier powder. Next I'm going in with, I believe it's a NYX blush. I forget the shade, but I really do like it. Any details that I don't say in this video will be listed in the description box down below. And as you'll see, this is just me 
contouring my face. I'm using the only contour palette I own because I rarely contour, but I feel like on special occasions it's, you know, useful. And I think I'm, I believe I'm just taking Buon Fresco again and just using it underneath the eye to kind of smoke the look out a bit and make everything very soft. Now I'm just prepping my eyes for mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Clump Crusher for, as my mascara and then my Dior Maximizer for the plumper. Um, I love that stuff, can't get enough of it, it's not talked about. Now I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes and then put some more mascara on just to kind of pump that up. Now I'm going in with my favorite step, highlighter. Yes, girl, glow up. Yes. <laughs> I was having a lot of fun listening to music and getting ready. By the way, yes, I am fully in my pajamas. I also took champagne pop and just put it underneath my brow bone as a brow bone highlight. And this is me lining my lips with Sore from MAC. It's a ride or die. Love that stuff. Use it actually every day. And I also use this lip product every day. It's the Sephora Lip Cream in Marvelous Mauve. Um, nobody talks about this stuff enough. It is seriously one of the best cream liquid lipsticks on the market. Yes, feeling myself. And then I'm just spraying with the Pixi Glow spray just to set my makeup. And this is the final look. Yes, girl, work it. Um, like I said, the dress is from Nordstrom from the plus size section. These shoes are from The Walking Company. I love them, they're so comfortable. I just threw on some Alex and Ani bangles and a nice set pair of e like drop earrings to kind of set the look off you know, put it together a bit. I also uh, had my hair braided. Now I did my hair with just a clipless curling wand and had a hairdresser come in and braid because I'm literally inept at braiding. And this was the final look. So for this next look, it was a New York City wedding at night and I wanted to do something a little different, but I did use a lot of the same products, which are all listed here. I did make the eye look a little more dramatic. So I used my favorite palette. Oh my God, I never, I have stopped using this as much, but it's the chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. Um, I'm taking milk chocolate and using that as like my transition shade. I'm just blending that in four days. Then I'm taking marzipan with like a very, very small, tiny brush to pack on as much shimmer as humanly possible. And I'm putting that all over my lid. Then I'm going in with, I think I believe it's semi-sweet, um, which is a little bit darker than milk chocolate, and I'm just focusing that right on that outer corner. Then I went in with a touch, like a literal dab of hazelnut and put that, you know, outer into the middle of my eye. And then I'm taking my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and just giving myself a quick cat eye. Go girl. Haven't done a cat eye in a very long time. So I was nervous, but it came out pretty well. Then I'm just going in with my Clum Crusher Mascara. Also, I used my Dior Plumper as always. And then I went in with a slightly darker lip. This is also a Sephora lip cream, but I don't remember the exact number slash, I got it a very long time ago, so I'm not sure if they make it, but any sort of very deep lip will do. And that was my look. So I styled it very understatedly, just wore like a cool pair of sunglasses, some understated earrings, and had my hair swift back. And that was my look. Thanks everybody for watching this week's video. I hope you liked it. Um, this is the types of videos that I've been thinking about making for so long, and I finally did it. I hope you guys liked it, because I had a great, great, great time making it. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and let me know down in the comments if uh, this is something you wanna see more and what particularly you want me to style. See you in my next video, guys. Bye.